What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we are on a mission. There's one champion that has been dodging my account for 3.5 years and she is the only non-void legendary champion that I want and need. And of course, it's Duchess. Um, she is the best non-void legendary champion. Any PvE content, she'll carry you hard arena she's just an absolute monster um i can't think of anywhere where she isn't top tier she is just amazing um and not only that you know she's been in the game for like over four years she really has stood the test of time um so before we talk about the strategy on how we're going to get her let's just go for a kit so she's got so much going on but not only has she got you know such an amazing kit she's also bringing in an aura um so increase ally speed in all battles by 19 percent. it's not the best speed aura but it's still pretty strong and it is all battles as well and speed is one of the best stats in the game so her passive decreases the damage taken by all allies from aoe attacks by 25 percent. that is huge for the arena um you know they bring in their new car they come in with the big hits and we are gonna reduce that damage by 25 percent and if you pair her up with someone like pythion or usaga the damage and mitigation is just on another level they will not be able to do anything to your team and you know and then you just turn around and you'll just clap clap them to the floor and that's it it's game over man it's game over um, and it's 15% from bosses, which is nice as well. So that's also pretty big. Um, you know, most bosses do do AOE hits and it's just, it's such a strong passive. It really, really is. So A3 is one of the best AOE revives in the game. Uh, revives all dead allies with 70% of HP. That is huge just by itself. Um, then places a veil buff on all allies except this champion for one turn. So what this does is, you know, the enemy have come in, they've come in hard, they've blown everyone away, they've used all their AoE hits. Duchess comes in, she revives the whole team, and now only Duchess can be targeted. And, you know, she's going to be soaking up all those hits. And, you know, and then your allies are going to get to go again, and they'll just drop the enemy easy peasy. She also places 15% um, a continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns again this is huge this is going to heal your team this is going to keep everyone topped up and keep them going so then she's got a, an a2 as well which places block debuffs and increase attack buff on all allies for two turns so block debuffs very very strong you know it's going to stop all sorts of nastiness that the enemy can throw on us like any cc or you know bombs and stuff like that um, but also increase attack as well so if we do have any um, attack nukers on the team that's going to increase their damage and we are going to just drop the enemy team again uh, but also her a2 is very similar to a3 so again she does a place a perfect veil buff on all allies except this champion for two turns again this is just massive and it just means that there's like you know there's so many terms times where the enemy, they're not going to be able to hit anyone but Duchess. And because she's going to build her so tanky, she's going to be soaking up all that damage and your team is just going to get work done. So then at A1 as well, it doesn't look like it does much, but actually it's pretty huge. So she attacks one enemy two times, which is just, that's nothing. But then places a shield buff equal to 10% of this champion's max HP for two turns. Um and the ally with the lowest hp so if you know if there's someone like your nuka is low on hp she's gonna help keep them alive with a big fat shield if everyone's down and she's the last person standing well she can stall out the fight she will you know place a big shield on herself and it's gonna be hard for the enemy to get through to that and what's gonna happen is she will stall out the fight and will cycle back around to that revive She'll revive again and the whole team's back 
and you get to go again and there's a very good chance that you're going to win that fight but yeah so many times like i've come across her in arena and you know she has stalled out the fight she has brought everyone back and i've lost so yeah she is such a beast for the arena and she just you know because she's so strong she just pairs up so well with so many champions she can build so many team comps around her she truly is the goat of non-void legendaries so let's talk about the strategy that we're going to be using to try and get ourselves a dutch ass so basically it's all around shards we are going to be stacking our shards and this strategy really is for end game free to play players who've been playing for about a year to year and a half so you need to make sure you've got a nice healthy roster you've got a decent amount of champions i mean if you are a spender this is obviously going to be a great strategy for you as well so i've not pulled any shards for about i think about eight weeks now and we're not going to pull any shards for six months which is absolutely crazy um hopefully i'm hoping this is going to happen around christmas time um so that's when i'm really hopefully pulling shards so i think it was either earlier this year maybe you know eight months ago or maybe even like last year but polarium done a two times event for sacred and a 10 time chance on top to get duchess that's what we're hoping for for christmas but that's why we're going to be stacking up all our shards for it um so for christmas i'm hoping i should have around 60 to 80 sacreds void shards we're going to have probably about 120 to 160 and then ancient shards i reckon we'll have about 500 to 600 and we've we know we're gonna have so many shards that if a special event comes up for a 10 times and if there's a two times going as well i'm definitely going for it but that's going to give you know that will be our best shot at getting ourselves a duchess obviously it's not 100 percent but it is going to be our best chance to get her and obviously if you're a spender just wail out but save and stack your sacreds stack your ancients stack your voids i know it's hard for you if you're a big spender to do that but you need the discipline of a monk to do this but it is going to help you get a duchess um but yeah so that is going to be what the strategy that we're going to be using and if we have a look at my account, so I used to only pull during two times. And you can see like my account is very, very healthy. We've got loads of good champions. But now, and you can see I've got loads of dupes as well. And we'll have a look at the vault. But we need specific champions now. You know, the, it's no good having loads and loads of dupes. We need specific champions to help carry our account to take us to the next level and yeah so you can see like i've got loads lo i've got loads of good champions but i don't have the best and you know by not pulling sacreds we are going to be sacrificing a lot um so legendary books we're probably going to miss out on 12 legendary books by not pulling all the way up to christmas but you know you need to save your resources like a squirrel put them away and at the right time you need to go nuts so yeah i've got 27 legendary books and i'm only going to be booking champions that absolutely need books and you can see like i'm trying to save books we only want to be using like on a2s and a3s of course there's always exceptions to the rules but you know in general i am going to be trying to to be like save save my legendary books as much as i can but yeah so there is a big sacrifice for this, but hopefully it is going to pay off. The other thing that's really good about this strategy is that where we're saving all these resources for six months, Polarium are going to release a ton of OP champions in that time. And hopefully when it comes around to Christmas or maybe, maybe even January, they might do like January sales, something, I don't know, but hopefully we're going to have you know they're going to release loads of op champions and if we don't get duchess we're hopefully going to get one of these op champions and that is going to boost our account but yeah anyway guys let me know who you guys are after who's on your hit list 
Do you guys think this is a good strategy? What strategies are you guys using to try and get the champions that you need for your account? But please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in a guy. I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace.